Hi guys, James here from Sunseeker Southampton. I'm down at Hamble Point, bottom of the Hamble River here on the south coast today uh, to look around at Camargue 44 from 1998. Uh, she's with her sixth owner from New, current owner since 2013, supplied by us uh, to him at his local shipwright business and she's a real test of what they can do in terms of paint and a full install of uh, new equipment and a complete overhaul to what is a, a truly classic model in our range. So behind me here, spin the camera around, appropriately named Gold Digger. So I say we took out what was a blue hold 1998 boat. She's been back through the shipwright business here, the Hample Point, for a full respray from bow to stern. Beautiful job, I have to say. This is a real stunning boat up close. Uh, works completed about five years ago now. It's the owner's own personal boat and they do um, regular trips out with the family here on the south coast. So uh, very much a practical, it's a two cabin, two bathroom layout. Great looks, real sleek boat. We've got this beautiful sort of forward facing radar arch and then the full canopy enclosure, heating in the cockpit. So we've got usable boat all year round. Still with those awesome looks. That looks like very much a, a modern boat that we would produce today. So we just walk around the back here and there's a massive list of works that the owner's done over the years. A full teak replacement here, platform through the cockpit and the steps etc. We've got a dinghy crane here on the port side which spins round for launch and recovery. Um, he doesn't use it with a dinghy but you could have a set of chocks put on the back here and lift sort of I would say that lifts about 100 kilos on the back there. You'll have to excuse the wind as it's quite fresh down here in the marina today. So we're just walking alongside here you can see the paint stood up really well say despite them using the boat regularly. Got a few little scuffs down here on the on the hull. Uh, but say being a professional paint shop I'm sure they could deal with with any little imperfections as part of a an offer price negotiated into a deal if needed. Uh, they took out all the windows so these were replaced put things like the uh, the chafing bars here by the cleats nice touch just to keep the, the rubbing down on the minimum on the paint. Uh, classic Camargue so we got lovely big stainless steel heavy duty windscreen with a big frame all the way around gives a real feeling of quality and these little wing tips on the arch to give a say that sort of retro classic look big engine vents in the side Sunseeker badging down on, on the hull here below the um, below the rubbing strake there and let's head on board take a look around I see this now it's got a almost a metal metallic sort of finish to the paint here Reel stands up nicely. You don't need to polish an all grip paint. It can all be hand polished. Uh, canopies were new a few years back. You could either tea cut the windows or, or change the windows if you wanted to, but the actual canopies themselves are quite serviceable as they are. Um, and if we head on into the cockpit here, you'll see this is done in a, a silver text fabric, which is like a graphite gray. And you'll see my video now cut to, uh, to us running the boat out to, um, to show what she's like out in the open sea. Here we are up in the cockpit of this lovely Camargue 44. Start to appreciate the paint job done on the exterior. So champagne gold, it's an all grip two pack paint. It's beautiful with the whole boat's done, all exterior surfaces, including things like the wet bar here in the cockpit, up and covering the radar arch, up onto the foredeck, etc. Um, so on the starboard side here, we have a sink, an electric Kenyan griddle which will work off the generator. We've got a good size refrigerator, storage cupboard here which would take an ice maker if you wanted to add one. Um, upholstery is replaced as well so this is a silver text like a graphite colour. Uh, Besons only folding table so it's a manual that stows away into that side literally the backrest cushion lifts up it folds away. Obviously an opening top here for dining and there's space on the floor here to put a couple of director's chairs when you need extra seating. Uh, the teak decks were all completely replaced so new throughout the cockpit here just a bit of water here on here so it all clears up very nicely and that concludes the bathing platform as well and these side steps. Have to excuse the wind out here. Uh, we've got a, a dinghy crane here which stores away behind this rear seating and that will swing round and allowing you to have a sort of three meter tender on the platform. There's a big storage sun pad under the back here and the backrest cushion drops with the table down. This backrest cushion will go all the way down to give you a full size double sunbed. 
and then coming forward uh, up here on the port side you've got a storage locker and a nice three person seating so we've got a chaise on the port here and then a single helm seat to starboard lots of the up, uh, electronics have been upgraded so we've got a DSC Raymarine VHF Raymarine E120 a C, sorry, C120 plotter carbon fibre hand laid dash panels here on the top covering all the gauges so it's beautifully finished I believe the autopilot isn't currently working but that's something to check with the owner a full bank of replaced carling switches that does bilge pumps bilge blower lights on the arch and then over this side we've got windscreen wipers and um, controls for trim tabs we've got more uh, controls here for the throttles so we're running caterpillar uh, 3126 engines which are 430 horsepower then we've got a, a side power bow thruster there's a remote for the um, fire extinguisher system and obviously a hydraulic steering system so very easy one finger lock to lock when the boat's up and running canopies were replaced a couple of seasons back and present really well so we've got this bimini arrangement up top and then you can enclose this panel in through the the windscreen and also around the aft here so the diesel heating system downstairs uh, we'll just see have we got any outlets yeah there's an outlet down here by the helm to warm up the cockpit I'll just take you up on the side decks to show you really easy, nice wide decks, very safe feeling, warm down and forwards. And then we've got this lovely double sun pan pushing in the middle of the deck here, done in the same upholstery as the cockpit. And then up forward, good sized galvanised anchor. And you've got a storage locker with a rail here so you can put all your fenders away in there without having to carry them all over the deck. So it's a very pretty boat, very um, very low profile, tastefully done. You can see up on the arch here, the Raymarine radar, so that's a, a two kilowatt radome. And then you've got a GPS aerial, TV aerial horn, VHF aerial, etc. So I say it's a very, um, it's a very high spec for one of these. And we'll head on back into port, just finish off. So here we are downstairs in the lower saloon. You can start to appreciate the level of detail that's gone into restoring this beautiful interior back to her original factory spec and beyond. So we've got this lovely high gloss cherry wood interior cabinetry on all the bulkheads. Uh, we use a veneer in the doors here and then things like these uh, capping rails around the edges are all the solid wood. She's had new carpets throughout the lower deck interior and then a custom sprayed finish on top of things like the table here. You can see these beautiful inlaid painted panels painted all around here on the, the galley worktop. It's a sort of midnight black granite effect paint. And of course, being a Camargue, she's very practical with onboard amenities. So lift up tops here. So we've got a sink with hot and cold pressurized running water, two burner electric top that will work off the generator as well as the shore power system. There's a good sized fridge. A combination microwave grill. And then loads of storage for provisions, things like cutlery, glasses, etc. Headlining's also changed all the lighting to LED, so very bright and airy down here. You can see no um, no sagging, which is common on the older boats. See, we've got a 32-inch Samsung TV mounted up on the bulkhead. Main domestics electric panel up here for the 24-volt systems uh, with fusion head unit and a Ebersbacher remote control for the diesel heating system. Then this is the control for the shore power to 20 volt domestic side. That's an old style Navtex machine, so a little bit more storage in here. Uh, upholstery was replaced as well, so it's a sort of white material, very hard wearing. You can obviously see this table folds up to give you a little bit more of a coffee style feel in the evenings. And um, it also drops down and there's a couple of infill cushions here behind the steps. Uh, which create an ad hoc 
third uh, double bed if you need it. Um, owners redesigned it, these are different steps out of a much later Sunseeker, just giving a little bit more of a modern feel down here. And then if we come forward, this is the master stateroom forward. So we've got an island double bed here with steps up both sides and new knee rolls and the, uh, the panels that stretch into the headboard all brand new in a sort of aquamarine blue color, very tasteful. Again, LED lighting in the ceiling. It's a good sized bed, little window up top there for ventilation. Of course, side windows opening. Um, all the windows have been replaced or portholes as I should say. Lift up storage cupboards here, high level either side of the bed, so they give plenty of storage. We've got a Samsung TV up on the bulkhead here. And then we've got a wardrobe and storage cupboard. Um, outlets down here for the heating. We've got, she's on uh, three pin UK sockets, which would be easy to change for European sockets if you need to. Again, things like the bed covers. A new mattress here in the forward cabin, say carpets throughout. We come through, so this is the master en suite. So uh, toilets replaced for new Jabsco electric flush, fresh water flush toilets. You've got a good size shower here with a rotating door to give you an enclosure without getting the whole bathroom wet. And again, the, um, the painted feature on the worktops again, just to uh, modernize the boat from what would have been a, like an aquamarine blue in here. Originally, say all the mirrors are in good shape up top here and if we come back aft this is the second guest cabin and there's a custom change in here so if we step down the beds run thwart ships and the uh, the owners added this additional third bunk up top to give you uh, three beds for sort of a kids cabin uh, we could remove this if you wanted to and turn it back into the two single beds and equally, um, being a shipwright, he could create a fill-in cushion here if you wanted to make this a, a double bed. Things like uh, all the reading lights have been changed, I say LED lights in the ceiling. We've got a Samsung TV up on the bulkhead here on a swing bracket. Wardrobe over on the, on the port side. And again, a bathroom with the uh, Painted top, say so nice condition on the mirrors. Electric toilet. This is a, a shower stall as well, so the curtain comes round to give you ad hoc shower if you're staying on board. I say, and it is absolutely presented in A1 order down here. Carpets are mark free, say so the bed covers are beautiful. She looks literally like the day she left the factory. We've got a few little minor nicks in the in the door here. Uh, we've got minor nicks in the floor. This is factory uh, wood floor in the galley area. Would have been a, an option from new. I say very, very clean. And let's head back on up top. So here we are now back in port. We've got all our covers back up. The boat's getting ready to put back to bed. Um, and I've put the table away now so you can see how the cockpit presents without the, the table set up. And then we'll just have a look down in the engine bay to see how this works. Uh, so they say, just to reiterate, they're Caterpillar 3126 engines, which are, um, I say, between 420 and 430 horsepower factory factory fit. Uh, they're on a V-drive, so we've got the gearbox here at the forward end with the engine sitting up over the top, so it gives a real compact installation, everything pushed well aft in the hull. Uh, we've got aluminium fuel tanks here. They're 520 litres each, um, so we've got a port and starboard tank with a balance pipe through the middle. And we just spin the camera around in here. So we've got SEPAR filters up on the forward bulkhead here for engines. Um, over on the starboard side, you can see the green light on. That's the battery charger over there. So the engines were removed as part of the refurb. So uh, just freshened up. So he's got bills for the work done to them, um, cleaning out heat exchangers, say some fresh paint, that sort of thing. I say it was done a few years back, but still considering the boat's used regularly. So everything's nicely clipped up and, and tidy in here. So uh, batteries on a Camargo stored underneath this checker plate lid, so easy access for replacement. And then you've got a four kilowatt Kohler generator down the aft end of the, the engine room there. I'll just climb down so you can see what the access is like in here. So plenty of space between the engines. 
um, and then you've got say strainers in the middle here so serviceability wise very straightforward we've got a fire suppression system up in the the top here um, it looks like all the engine insulation has been replaced up top so that just keeps the noise to a minimum so cat engines real have a throaty noise to them when they're up and running you can definitely tell a cat boat when it comes into the marina but so you can't see any real nasty leaks in the bill just below and certainly from the sea trial we did out just now she appears everything seems to be in working order so we'll just head back on up and finish off on the outside so I say lying here in the UK south coast onwards shipping overseas is no problem at all if you want a berth here on the south coast fits in the marina nicely here so economical to run we're running about 120 litres an hour cruise on one of these and hard for the money to find something better if you want that modern day looks without the cost of a, a newer style portofino predator where you'd be looking perhaps into the half million pound upwards bracket say so it's a great all-round package and they don't come up in this sort of level of refurb very often at all it really wouldn't make much financial sense for a for a private owner to undertake it was probably at retail I would say around sixty thousand pounds worth of works to uh, to bring her back up to to modern standards so if you'd like any further information say my name is James Lumley from Sunseeker Southampton mobile is plus four four seven seven four seven six eight six five eight seven or it's James at sunseekersouthampton.com drop me an email I could send you a library of photos further specs on the boat say we've got title proof of VAT and all the relevant documents taking the boat right back um, and if you look at anything else on my my channel which you think might be more suited to your needs um, also give me a, a call about those so hope you enjoyed the tour today and we look forward to hearing from you